Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled exploring the antennae. So what do we see here? Well, this is a pair of galaxies often known as the antennae galaxies. And they're also known by their catalog designations, which are NGC 4038 and NGC 4039. So two galaxies very close together. And you can see how they get their name as the antenna galaxies. And that is those streamers of material coming off like two antennae, one going off towards the upper left and one kind of arcing down towards the lower right and towards the right hand side of the image. Now the reason for this is the two main galaxies are interacting. They are colliding together gravitationally and distorting each other's structure. So we can see that these don't look like any ordinary elliptical or spiral galaxy that we often look at. Uh, material is being spread out and pulled by the gravitational fields. Now when galaxies collide, it's not the stars that collide. Stars are so far apart that even when two galaxies collide, every star will pass right by other stars but not collide. What does collide are the gas clouds. Gas clouds are many times larger and they will smash into each other and begin to form new stars. So star formation occurs and we can see all of the glowing pink region pink and blue regions that we associate with star formation in spiral galaxies and we can see them here. Uh, very extreme in a very extreme manner. There's a lot of star formation going on here. Because what would normally occur at a more leisurely pace in a single galaxy is now being enhanced and running at a much, much faster rate as we go through uh, these two galaxies colliding as all of those star clouds collide and gas clouds, they will begin to form new stars. Now in the long run, these two will probably form just a single galaxy and everything will settle down. So if we could come back in a 100 million years or so, maybe a little longer, we would see just a single ordinary galaxy there. So the remnants of the collision would then be long since gone. But we would have a much larger galaxy the present. And that's what we believe has happened over time with galaxies even such as our own Milky Way have grown in size by cannibalizing and colliding and merging with other galaxies. So the original galaxies that formed would have been much smaller galaxies. And over time, they would have formed the bigger, uh, bigger elliptical and spiral galaxies that we see in the universe today. So that's a little bit about how that would happen. And we're seeing a little picture of it here in this snapshot of the collision of the antennae galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for March the 27th of 2021. It was titled Exploring the Antennae. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.